Happy Wednesday! My dog Mona and I wanted to answer a very important question that someone asked me this week. And it was, what kind of diet can I have if I have endometriosis or if I have fibroids? And I thought it was a really good question because as physicians, a lot of times we tend to hyper-focus on medications or surgical options that we can offer patients to help with this condition. And although those are very viable options, um, there are some patients that want a more holistic approach. And the answer to that is actually very simple. A plant-based diet will help. And the reason why a plant-based diet will help is because... um, Things like cruciferous vegetables, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli, kale, the leafy greens, those all uh, contain an enzyme that help us metabolize estrogen and testosterone properly. When we don't have those enzymes present, oftentimes we end up having an over buildup of these hormones. And there is such a thing as estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance we typically see in patients who are overweight. We see it in patients who have PCOS, uh, patients that have um, tumors uh, that are producing estrogen. And oftentimes, this is linked with endometriosis and fibroids, uterine cancer, breast cancer. Um, Because obviously, when there is estrogen dominance, that means that there isn't enough progesterone to counterbalance that estrogen. Um, Oftentimes, I get patients in my office that are overweight and they're in menopause and they're like, you know what, doc, I've never had (laughs) any symptoms of menopause. I don't have hot flashes. I actually feel really good. And, you know, I think to myself, honestly, like part of the reason why you don't have that is because estrogen is not only made in our ovaries, it's also made in the fat cells in our body. So obviously the more overweight we are, the less symptoms we're going to have. And you can imagine if you have conditions like endometriosis or fibroids that are stimulated by estrogen, of course they're going to get worse if you have more estrogen around. How is that linked to diet? Well, it's very obvious, right? If you're having fatty meals, um, if you're having highly processed foods, um, then you're going to gain weight. And if you're going to gain weight, that means that you're going to have more fat cells in your body, which are going to be producing more estrogen. There is a product called DIM, uh, diendolmethane. DIM is made from cruciferous vegetables, so if you don't like having your vegetables, you can at least supplement with DIM. And that is my tip of the day. And my lovely dog, ugh. <laughs> She does that all the time. She doesn't know that I don't like making out with dogs, but she says hi. Happy Wednesday.